So let's get to the question. Is the Lilo 4080 easy to clean? Well, the answer really depends on what you mean by easy. If easy to clean means being able to throw everything into the dishwasher, then the answer is no. But very few ice cream makers have all their parts dishwasher safe. If, however, easy to clean means spending less than 10 minutes hand washing, then the answer is yes. Now, if that gives you enough information to make a decision, then there really is no need to watch the rest of this video. But for those who continue to watch, I'm going to show you how I clean the Lalo 4080, how long it actually takes me, and how the techniques I use prevent water or soap from getting inside the machine. To get started, you'll need some inexpensive items you can get at a hardware store. Hand dishwashing liquid, two sponges, one is for washing and initial rinsing, the other is for final rinsing. I never add dishwashing liquid to the second one. Paper towels for removing residual food. A lint-free cloth towel for drying. I always use lint-free cloth for drying so that I do not leave any fibers or lint in the bowl. A rubber washer. Yeah, I know that sounds strange, but we will see how I use it as a gasket to prevent water and soap from getting inside the machine. A small length of half-inch non-metal plumbing pipe. A little over a half inch long. I will show you how I use the Lalo 4080's locking nut to secure the rubber washer using the short length of pipe. And finally, a small paper cup. While removing the ice cream, you will finish by removing the mixing blade to get as much ice cream as possible. When you remove the mixing blade, place the small paper cup over the spindle opening to ensure ice cream does not get inside the machine. After I finish removing as much ice cream as I can, I let the temperature of the bowl come to above freezing before proceeding. If we don't, then when water touches the sides of the bowl, it will freeze. The first step is to seal the spindle opening so water and soap do not get inside as we clean. I place the washer on the spindle, then the small length of pipe, and then the locking nut. As you screw down the locking nut, you should only screw it down so that it is snug, not overly tight. After the bowl and mixing blade come to room temperature, I use damp paper towels to remove the excess food. Removing the residual food from the mixing blade and bowl took me over a little minute. You didn't see me remove the food from the blade because I did that at the kitchen sink. Cleaning the bowl, mixing blade, and lid took me a little over two minutes. For rinsing, I first rinse out the sponge I use for cleaning and then use it to remove as much as the soapy water from the bowl and machine. Then I use the rinse sponge to finish rinsing. As you rinse, make sure you rinse off any soap on both sides of the washer, the small pipe, and the locking nut. Rinsing the bowl, mixing blade, and lid took me a little over three minutes. I do not dry with paper towels, as that will leave fibers inside the bowl. I use a clean, lint-free cotton towel to dry the mixing blades, bowl, and lid. When done, I place a towel, not the lid, on the machine to let both the towel and bowl finish air drying. Once completely dried, I remove the towel and put back the mixing blade and lid. It took me a little bit over a minute to do the drying for a total time of less than eight minutes. And for me, that is not much to do given the quality of ice cream this machine makes. This concludes this video. I hope it has been useful to you and thank you for watching.